Hi kids, welcome to Main Street. What do you see behind me? Yeah, it's our clock tower. <laughs> I love summertime because people are out, they're about, they're hanging out and doing their vacation time. What's that? Did I just see a mullet walk by? Oh, it's not my fault if you start asking your parents to get a mullet haircut. <laughs> and you saw someone else? I heard a mom say she saw Marianne from Gilligan's Island. I bet you kids don't even know what Gilligan's Island is. But summer is great time, it's vacation time. And you don't have to pay attention to the clock so much because you don't have to be at school and places on time. But God wants us to pay attention every day to the time. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. God's Word tells us to pay attention each day because firstly, today is the day the Lord has made. And we need to be thankful and rejoice in that. Every day has things to be thankful for. And no one likes hanging around with someone who's sad all the time. So be happy and find things each day to celebrate because God made that day. Secondly, God's Word tells us that today is the day of salvation. I want to show you something. Instead of each day blending into the next, we need to remember that each day is precious and special. So, like a big bullseye, each day is a day to share Jesus with someone. It's the day of salvation. Salvation means to be rescued, to be made whole or complete, to have peace. Of course, it's being rescued from hell and going to spend our life in heaven with Jesus someday. But right here on this earth, every day, God is our rescuer and he wants us to share salvation with other people because today is the day of salvation. So I've got a fun song to teach you about sharing Jesus with people because today is a day of salvation, right? You ready? Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Oh, he forgave my sin and he saved my soul. He cleansed my heart and he made me whole. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Go and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. Go and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. For he'll forgive your sin and he'll save your soul. He'll cleanse your heart and he'll make you whole. Go and tell the story of the Christ of Calvary. I hope you guys are up for your five assignments this week. The first one is pull out your list from last time we got together. I want you to read it over and practice saying it like you're telling it to someone in a story. It might sound like this. I used to have a hard time sleeping because I was scared, but then I realized that God is always with me. And so now I have peace and I sleep really good. Customize it or make it special for your own story. So that's your first assignment. Practice reading your three reasons that God fills you with the fruit of the Spirit. And secondly, I want you to keep your eyes open because today is the day of salvation. And there may be someone today or tomorrow or the next day as you're out and about doing your things with all the people that are out and about in the summertime, 
Watch for people who need to be encouraged. Maybe they need healing. Maybe they need to hear your story so you can pray for them or you can tell them what God did in your life and share with them how God can do that for them. Number three is next week when we get together, we're going to do something fun with water. So I want you to go somewhere with your parents and take a picture beside a fountain or a river, okay? It has to be a river or a fountain, some kind of flowing water. Get a family picture. Fourth, I know most of you have no idea who Gilligan is. So see if you can search Gilligan's Island on the internet and watch an episode and then you'll know who Marianne is who walked by. Your last assignment, number five, is to practice with me Psalm 91. All right, guys, let's do Psalm 91 verses 1 to 16 in God's Word translation using our memories and our actions. You ready? Whoever lives under the shelter of the Most High will remain in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He is the one who will rescue you from hunter's traps and from deadly plagues. He will cover you with his feathers <laughs> and under his wings you will find refuge. His truth is your shield and armor. You do not need to be afraid of terrors of the night, arrows that fly during the day, plagues that roam the dark, epidemics that strike at noon. They will not come near you, even though a thousand may fall dead beside you or 10,000 at your right side. You only have to look with your eyes to see the punishment of wicked people you, O oh Lord, are my refuge. You have made the Most High your home. No harm will come to you. No sickness will come, sickness will come near your house. <laughs> he will put his angels in charge of you to protect you in all your ways. They will carry you in their hands so that you never hit your foot against a rock. Oh! You will step on lions and cobras. You will trample young lions and snakes. Now this is God's promise to us. My favorite part. Because you love me, I will rescue you. I will protect you because you know my name. When you call to me, I will answer you. When you are in trouble, I will be with you. I will save you and honor you. I will satisfy you with long life. Come, I will show you how I will save you. Good job, guys. Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for each day that you have made. Help me to see your creation and rejoice in the days that you give me. Thank you also that today is the day of salvation. Help me, Lord God, to pay attention to those around me so that I can see those who are hurting or in need and I can encourage them. I want to pray for them. I want to share the story about what you've done in my life to fill me with love, joy, and peace. Thank you, God, for your incredible love for me. I am so blessed. And in the name of Jesus now, I declare that every child here is blessed. Everyone who's listening to my voice right now, their family has peace. Thank you, Lord, that you've shown yourself to be their savior, their rescuer, their provider. Thank you, Lord, that you help them to rejoice each day in what you've made and what you've given them. Thank you, Father, for your help. Lord, we pray your blessing on the church. 
our church and every church that proclaims the name of Jesus Christ worldwide. I pray that their doors would blow off with the explosion of new people being born again because today's the day of salvation. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're drawing people to yourself and you're sending us to help bring the message and the truth of your word. In Jesus' name we declare it. Amen. Amen. Well, guys, we'll see you next week. And don't forget to take a picture by a fountain or a river with your family. Bye.